With the R18B, it's all about the streamlined silhouette. High and powerful in the front, tapering to the rear, and sitting on a long, stable, horizontal lower line that hugs the road. Clearly, a fun and great looking bagger I would definitely not say no to. The R18B is designed as a rider's machine for emotional riding and cool touring. The all new R18 Transcontinental is your perfect, classic, and elegant Grand American touring bike. The most sophisticated member of the R18 family ensures maximum comfort and luxury for both rider and pillion. With its engine protection guards, panniers, and the top case, it is perfect for motorbike trips and long distance rides to every destination you have in mind. Both the new R18B as a stylish bagger and the new R18 Transcontinental as a luxurious tourer are easy to customize, what I'm going to show you later. The bodywork of the bikes goes hand in hand with comfortable ergonomics. For best possible vehicle control, BMW relies on a so-called mid-mounted foot pack position. It enables the rider to sit in an ergonomic but relaxed triangle between seat, foot position and handlebars. The R18B has a two-person bench with a height of 720 millimeters. This bike is equipped with wide, comfortable foot packs for rider and pillion as standard. You can choose optional floorboards X Factory for the rider. As aiming for high long distance comfort, even in two-person operation, the R18 Transcontinental is equipped with a particularly comfortable seat bench, 740 millimeters high, and seat heating as standard for both the rider and passenger. You can get also floorboards for rider and pillion X Factory. Moreover, the available options and accessories for the two bikes offer a wide range of parts to individually optimize the ergonomics, like different handlebars, seats, etc. Both bikes are featuring the so-called five icons. They quote earlier stylistic elements of BMW Motorrad. The teardrop tank, now with 24 liters, the black paintwork with white pinstriping, the duplex cradle frame, the open shaft drive, and the boxer engine. The heart of the bagger and the full dresser is the 1802cc Big Boxer. Not only with its impressive appearance, but also from a technical point of view, it is a continuation of the traditional air-cooled Boxer engine that has provided an exhilarating riding experience since the start of BMW Motorrad in 1923. Specs. The engine has a displacement of 1802cc with two air and oil-cooled cylinders with classic push rods. The power output is 67 kilowatts at 4,750 RPM. From 2,000 to 4,000 RPM, more than 150 newton meters of torque can be called up at any time and the original pulling power goes hand in hand with voluminous sound. The R18B, Touring the Bagelwood. The one part of the bike that stands out the most is the impressive front, which influences the great appearance of this bike a lot. In my opinion, BMW did a really good job here. BMW, by the way, reinforced the frame to support the big fairing and the big instrument cluster. So let's have a look at the view from the rider's perspective. The center piece of the cockpit is for sure the 10.25 inch TFT display. Via the perfectly readable color display, the instrument cluster offers maximum functionality and information. By using the multi-controller, you can navigate through the menu. Even while riding, there is no need to get the hands of the handlebar. It's all intuitive and easy to handle. Listening to music, doing phone calls, and the best navigation features such as smartphone-based navigation. With the TFT display, BMW Motorrad offers you amazing connectivity on both models. In combination with the BMW Motorrad Connected app, you can not only navigate, but also record any rides you make, enhance the memories with pictures taken during the trip, and share these impressions together with riding statistics by social media. Next to the big TFT display in the center, the beautiful cockpit consists of four classic analog instruments, fuel gauge, speedometer, engine speed, and power reserve. Featuring the iconic Berlin built lettering, it follows the classic claim. You find a smaller windshield here on the bagger than mounted 
on the transcontinental. And even though I will show you only later the big variety of accessories you can get for both bikes, I don't want to miss mentioning already that besides these two windshield sizes, there is also an even shorter wind deflector option, which you can see here. The two bigger windshields are available in all clear or in clear with a masked lower half. The small wind deflector version is available in all clear and fully tinted. Talking about the front, look at these striking speakers. With the R18B and the R18 Transcontinental, BMW offers a new digital sound dimension as standard, developed with the British manufacturer Marshall. For more than 50 years, Marshall has stood not only for legendary guitar amplifiers, but also for speaker systems of the highest quality. The launch of these bikes is the kickoff of the corporation. Two emotional brands team up. What a perfect match. For both models, you find two two-way loudspeakers integrated into the front of the fairing as standard. For even more intense listening pleasure, you can choose factory options. The Marshall Gold Series Stage 1 for the Bagger and the Transcontinental, and the Marshall Gold Series Stage 2, which is available for the Transcontinental. With Stage 1, you get additional speakers in the panniers. With Stage 2, you get speakers at the backrest of the top case on top. So up to four speakers and two subwoofers in the panniers with a total of 280 watts of system power ensure incomparable sound experience. Now, let's have a look at the headlight. BMW once again confidently demonstrates that the state-of-the-art LED lightning technology is also suited for the implementation in classic headlight designs. The R18B and the R18 Transcontinental feature a strikingly designed LED main headlight with optimized low beam and high beam. This is complemented by LED indicators. At the rear, they are mounted on the panniers for a distinctive appearance. In addition to the LED main headlight, the R18 Transcontinental is equipped with two LED auxiliary headlights. And you can even go one step further. Just choose the optional extra adaptive cornering light. Here, the dip beam of the standard LED headlamp turns into the curve depending on the sloping position. With the bagger and the full dresser, you are perfectly equipped for luxurious touring with a high level of comfort and a nostalgic flair and a lot of storage space. The panniers are painted in body color. In addition, the Transcontinental is equipped with a top case with integrated backrest. Both the panniers and the top case can be fitted with beautiful liners. They're made out of leather and canvas. Soft materials do not scratch any surface on the bike. The sidebacks fit perfectly into the panniers and are symmetric. Very helpful for all the small things you need for your ride is this organizer. With plenty of small pockets for earplugs, glasses, and so on. Next to all the luggage options, BMW integrated another great feature into both bikes. An automatic load balancer. Depending on the load, the spring adjustment adapts automatically. For best handling and optimum riding, even in two-person operation, and with full load. Next to this, BMW also integrated so-called air flaps. On warmer days, you might just want to flap them open to feel a refreshing breeze while you're riding. On top, the Transcontinental comes with an engine protection guard. Another cool feature down here, the fuel filler cap and the mobile phone storage compartment that are hidden underneath these push flaps. As we are talking about comfort and safety, I would like to show you the riding modes. Both models come with three ride modes as standard. Roll offers you an easy, cool, relaxed riding with all the performance you want. The rock mode is the one where you get more instant throttle response, very instantaneous. And the rain mode is great for safety if you should come into rainy weather. And there are some more features for comfort and safe riding. 
Both models feature dynamic cruise control as standard. Therefore, the BMW Motorrad full integral ABS is an indispensable precondition. Dynamic means that the pre-selected speed is kept constant when riding downhill. Let's talk about the design. This bike is just so cool in its complete black appearance. The base color is Black Storm Metallic. Thus, tone in tone are the engine and the cylinder head covers. Also black are the instrument panels, fork, fork covers, mirrors, and the handlebar weights. Perfectly fitting black cast alloy wheels. The R18 Transcontinental is of course also available in black only. In addition to the black versions, both models will also be offered as exclusive first editions. Black base color with white double pin striping. The engine of the Bagger is all black. The Transcontinental comes with a silver engine and beautiful chrome parts as for example the valve covers, levers and mirrors. The seat of the first edition has a high quality embroidery and at the panniers of both bikes you can see the first edition lettering. These black contrast cut wheels give the R18B first edition the perfect look. While the rims of the Transcontinental are also contrast cut but in classy granite gray. What's also special for the first edition models? The key, including the first edition lettering. And of course these two models also offer keyless ride. Next to the black basis models and the first editions, there are more colors available for the R18B and the R18 Transcontinental. Let's have a look. Well, you stand out when riding these bikes. This one shows up in Manhattan metallic matte. An amazing color that gives the bike a modern look. Many dog parts emphasize the design of this eye-catching bagger. What I also like a lot is this cool new seat. Here, have a look. For me personally, my favorite color is this one. The Option 719 Galaxy Dust Metallic with Titan Silver Metallic. A high-end vibrant flip-flop paint scheme going from purple to blue. Exclusively developed for the R18. The painting unfolds its extravagance, especially in sunlight. The smoke process leads to titanium silver. Anyone who knows lacquers knows how time-consuming and extraordinary this technique is. It combines this flip-flop paint with the traditional pinstriping, which frames the silver areas like here on the tank. This model is equipped with a black engine and black wheels. For the new R18 Transcontinental and R18B, the 719 seat option is a particularly exclusive alternative to the standard seat. In addition to the standard seat height, it offers an integrated seat heating system and impresses with its choice of materials and finish. Two black upper materials are used, combined with diamond-shaped quilting. An embroidered BMW logo and the Option 719 tag on the side round off this exclusive seat. All colors are available for both models. Individualization. You want to give your hard bagger or your full dresser your personal taste? You will like a lot what I show you next. BMW put together some design and combination inspirations. Let's go on with the next beauty. This bagger first edition. Equipped with beautiful option 719 design parts. The cylinder head covers, the front cover and the intake snorkel cover are all made of aluminum sheet with a brushed and colorless anodized surface. The cylinder head covers are adorned with filigree air vents, reminiscent of the streamliners of the 1920s and 1930s. The highlight is the batch on the front and side covers. It is made of solid copper, chrome plated and partially covered with white lacquer. The white lacquer that covers the number sequence 719 is reminiscent of historical emblems that were covered with animal at the time. It's kind of a must have for your personal R18, I'd say. I also really like this version. All in two-tone black by Roland Sands Design. In addition to the smaller covers, 
such as those for the expansion tanks of the clutch and brake, the cylinder head covers and the engine housing cover in two-tone black are particularly striking. And even the wheels are special. In, you guess, right, two-tone black. Also available for the new R18B and Transcontinental are the design collections of aluminum milled parts, also designed together with Roland Sands. From front to back, this R18 Transcontinental is finished with these customized machined parts. These parts are milled from high quality aluminum with the color contrast between black and silver. For this, the parts were anodized completely black after the first milling process and then milled over again and polished to bring out the original aluminum look and create the desired color contrast. For even more comfort, you have the rider leg rest mounted here on the engine protection bar of the bike. With it, you have the possibility to switch your leg position during long rides. The wide range of different parts from original BMW motorrad accessories and option 719 enables individual conversions that significantly change the character of the bike. So you can customize your bike as it fits to your personal taste. If you want further information about these models, please follow the links provided in the video description. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for our social media channels to ask questions and give your opinion. I hope you liked having a look at these beautiful bikes as much as I did. Now go find your favorite version of the R18 and enjoy the ride.